Hi, it's Miss Sherry. I'm here to tell you a little more about the Bible, and we know everything in the Bible is true. Do you remember how we talked about how God loves all people? You might remember Peter had a vision to show him this. There was a sheet that came down from heaven with animals in it, and then Peter met a man named Cornelius, who was a Gentile. And then God chose a special man named Paul, and Paul was to tell all the Gentiles about Jesus. Okay, so first, what is a Gentile? That's a good question. A Gentile is anyone who isn't a Jew. And the message of Jesus came first to the Jews. But that didn't mean it was only for them. But sometimes this confused the Jews. They remembered how God had chosen them in the Old Testament. And they remembered all the special things they did to follow God. Things like they would eat certain foods and not eat certain foods. And they had to dress in certain ways. And then they saw the Gentiles following God, and they weren't doing all those special things. The Jews began to think maybe God hadn't really chosen the Gentiles after all. This was a big problem. There was all these questions. Who did God love? What did he, you have to do to make God love you? In fact, this was such a big problem that all the leaders of the church came together to figure it out. And this happened in a book of the Bible called Acts, in Acts chapter 15. What did they decide? Well, before I tell you, I want to talk about chores. Do you have to do any chores? Do you have a chore you really hate? Like, my son hates taking out the trash. In my family, my kids do chores like taking out the trash and cleaning their room. And they do these chores because, well, they're a member of our family and because they love us, their mommy and daddy, and they obey us. But you know what? They don't have to do these chores to be my children. They already are my children, and I already love them. Well, that's kind of what the church leaders decided. God loves his children, and we're all already his children. We don't have to do things to be loved by God. But because we love God, there can be certain things that we should do or certain things that might be nice to do. So, for example, do you ever have a Christian t-shirt that says something about Jesus on it? You might want to wear that sometimes to show people that you love Jesus. But wearing that shirt doesn't make you a Christian. And not wearing it doesn't mean you're not a Christian. It's just something sometimes you do because you love Jesus. The leaders in Acts 15 figured this out, and it's important that we remember it too, because we can't do anything to make God love us. He already does.